All right, guys. Well, we're back out here in the shop today, and I've been running some parts for the uh, lathe conversion, and I got a lot of M6 holes that I tap and use for parts and things, and I tell you, it takes a lot of time to hand tap these holes. So, a buddy of mine introduced me to a new tool and he happened to be browsing around and found them so I wished I had bought more of them but anyway this is the tool it's kind of hard to see basically it's a thread mill a drill and a chamfer mill all in one so the first thing it drills the hole and chamfers the top you're supposed to be able to just back out just a tiny little bit and then it threads the hole and then comes out and you're done so uh, fusion will not generate this code in that manner so you have to kind of go through and run a drill process and then a thread process so it's still saving a lot of time uh, I just ran this and I got it of course the, the time that is shown on Mach 3 is including from the time you introduce the tool change until you mash cycle start and then it runs the program so you're getting a time on no matter how long it takes you to load the tool whatever it's all in there so it's 33 seconds there's no way I can drill a hole thread it in 33 seconds no possible way so this tool is going to save a ton of time um, I did some practice runs and I had to do a lot of work on it, but finally, this last little hole over here was pretty close to what I need. And you can see it chamfers the top and threads it. Drills the hole, chamfers the top while it's drilling, and then threads it. So you're done in one, pretty much, one simple program. You're running two, it's two groups of code, but if you save it in Fusion as templates, you can set it up pretty quickly and it's pretty much nailed down. You're, you're your dial once you dial it in and, and save it like that and use it again it's, it it runs pretty consistently it's going to save a lot of time and I just thought I would share what's going on here I'll run a video here with it working so you can see the process I've got it something similar to my stub drill feed rate uh, ran it the first time I ran it I ran it at 12 and a half inches per minute plunge at 5,000 rpm and I'm not so sure that's I'm not so sure that's a bad feed rate but I did slow it down a little bit because it was making some strange noises but Anyway, I, I slowed it down and it's still making the strange noises, so it doesn't matter what the strange noise is, I suppose. It's coming out with a good thread, so. Anyway, uh, I've moved this over, reset the code, and uh, we'll see how this does. I'll let you guys watch it. Man, I cleaned this uh, window.
been sitting a little while and it's gotten a little film on the window from the cooler. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Not gonna be long, it won't last long. Let's see how it does this time. So you can see there, that was pretty quick. Uh, looks like, see that time it says a minute and 14, but I had the tool change in there the whole time it was sitting there waiting for me to push cycle start. It was racking up the time. So the time there was only seconds. So. See what we got going on here. Despite all the weird noises, the only thing you see there might be a little whisker there where it was thread milling when it came out, it left that one little whisker. And I'm not so sure it's even a whisker, it may be just a reflection of Yeah, it's in there, it's just a little just a little hair in there of where it had left a little So it's just a little bit snug, but it goes in, no problem. Um, it's a little hard to hold on to that screw head too. It's a slippery screw head, it doesn't have knurling on it, so to get this thing, it's, it goes, it's, it's not too bad, and, and you can keep tinkering with it, dinkering with it, and, and get it where you want it, but it, that's that's pretty quick threading. I mean, it's just seconds to do that. There's no way you could do it that quickly with uh, hand tools. So, okay, guys, there you go. Uh, a little threading going on. It's going to save a ton of time on parts that I machine. So, there you go. Till next time, you guys take it easy.